Welcome back. Hope you're all making progress on your properties and learning a bit more as you as you continue on. Today we're going to talk about building structures uh, and basically go over some some tips and, and techniques when um, constructing and creating your home. So the first thing I want to go over is basically going to select a, a, a structure here or house wall. So you can see how on the house that I've created here, I have different roof lines, right? I have different kind of peaks and facades and stuff like that. So what we did was each one of these is actually a separate component, right? Stuck together. So I pulled my garage over here because it was the, the facade was lower, the roof line was lower than the main structure of the house here. And I basically have this overhang over here to create my porch area and create that seamless roof line into my garage. And we'll go over how to create a porch and a second story porch as well with that roof line. So first of all, when, when selecting my first wall structure here, you notice you can add corner trim and you can turn and turn off auto elevate. You can also adjust the elevation, the wall height, the roof pitch, and as well as the overhang. Some other things you can do is double click, and you can see I have my, my points down the bottom here. And again, just like the deck tool, if I hover over a, a, fa uh, a facade, I can change that. See how I just changed the roof line right there? So there really are a lot of different ways you can really customize, you know, an existing structure or change the different facades and materials. So the second thing we wanted to go over is how exactly to change a different material on a facade. So in other words, for each structure you have four sides, four facades, correct? And they're all the same material here. I am using a cedar shake light brown. Well, what I want to do is show you a technique how you can change one facade of the three to a different material. I'm going to turn my deck off so we can have a blank, a blank sheet here. I'm also going to just change up the light a little bit for us. So what I always do is I turn my, my grid under my property to grid size here to only one inch. What that's going to do is give me a little bit more detail so I can bring that facade out just an inch at a time. And you can change it, of course, to, you know, a six inches to a foot. I usually do keep it around that one foot mark, <clears throat> but for something like this, one inch is really going to help us out. So, say it's this structure here. I'm going to select the structure and I'm going to copy and paste it. Oh. Hold on, my <laughs> gotta change my facade here. Let's go back to, I mean, my layer back to house. Okay, so you can see that it copy and paste with, you know, all my doors and windows and things on there. So I'm actually gonna delete those, of course, because we don't need them at this point. And I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put my overhang back to zero, my roof pitch to zero. So now I just basically have this box. Now the first. Now, the next thing you have to do is change the facade, the material you want. So let's just, let's even use something like a brick so you can really see the difference here, okay? Add to scenes. Now, my whole, all my, my, all of it is brick here. Now, what I want to do is line it back up with the house here as best you can. It's a little finicky. <clears throat> and I want to bring my wall height down just a bit so it doesn't over, overhang on the top area. And now this is where the grid comes in handy. You can see that the facade is showing here and I don't want it to. So by double clicking and holding down control, I can select two points. And with my shift bar, uh, my space bar, I can make sure that it goes in that 45 or a straight line back. Only, of course, one inch at a time.
So as you can see, our front facade and our back facade are still the same material, and our right hand facade in the corner of the house has now been changed to brick. And you can do this again for the front of the house, back of the house, any side you choose. And the last thing you want to do, just to make it fit you a little bit even better, you select that new facade here, and you can tell because that's the, it's the wall material I've chosen. Holding down the space key, space bar, and you can go inch by inch a little bit even closer so it looks even more seamless, just like so. So the next thing we're going to do is turn our deck layer back on. And I'm actually just going to delete this facade for right now because we don't need it. Okay, so we have our deck here. Now we went over how the deck, if you double click, oh, I'm adding things. If, we, if you double click, you have our selection points just like so. So you can change things around. But what you can also do is make a porch. Now we're going to get into that, how you can elevate that to a second story level basically and adjust the height of it. So but, well, while we're going to adjust the height is basically if we put some windows on the top of the, oh that's not the window, on the top of the house here and we scale them down a bit. <clears throat> But basically what we could do is, is create another room up here. Um, say if we moved our if we moved our door over to say a second level like so. So we can even start by deleting this deck because we want to make a new one basically. Go back to our plan view and let's make this deck, you know, E even even longer going across so we'll make it 16 by say we'll make it a nice size by 6 and we'll come out here square that off alright so we have our deck and now we don't want to add steps along here because it's going to be in the second level and let's change the height to say you know 26 feet something like that or a little bit more so we can get up to okay so now you can step out of that door and you have this deck area right now, what you're probably thinking is, well, how would these support frames here? You know, I don't want that over here. I want it to just come off the deck. So by clicking Customize All Deck Properties, like so, and clicking the Support Frame, you have two options here. You can add Support Frame and add Concrete Footings. So by adding Concrete Footings, you can see that they have appeared. You can turn those off, as well as the Support Frame. And just like that, now you have this deck off the house. And you can do the same exact thing as if it were on the ground. You can adjust the sides of it as well, and you can remove the railings. And this exact technique can also be used for a porch on the ground level. So say we did go back to the ground level here. So we went back to deck, and let's change the height back to, I think it was around 18 feet. So we're almost on the ground here, okay? But we still don't want to have steps on the side because it just wants to be a porch. There's a, you know, let's move this door, this this sliding glass door back down here, okay? And we can even, you know, remove this railing like so. So we're, we're back off and we get this porch a little bit bigger this time. And now we want to create this roof line, kind of like this porch here, right? You see how this is also a porch with the roof line hanging off, but there's no wall underneath. So what we can do is we can actually even just copy, copy and paste, you know, a roof line like so. We'll bring it over here, and we're going to make it a little bit smaller because this is not going to come out protrude as much. So we can shorten this up a bit, and we want to keep the, you know, the facade, the the roof line, the same the same way. And what we're going to do is you can see wall height here. You see how the wall grows like this. So all that you do to create that overhang is just put the wall height back down. You know, you can get rid of it completely, or you can leave a little bit side of wall like that too. That's a nice detail as well. And then you can leave the overhang, you know, the same as, in, as the wall height as well. So make sure you turn auto elevate off so you can just manipulate this as you want. Now what I like to do is kind of bring it up, just adjust it kind of messy like this so we know it's over the hang, over, over our porch. Then I bring it down with the elevation so it comes down like so. And now you have this structure right here, which is basically an overhang. You can turn the pitch down and the overhang down a bit as if you want. And the last thing you want to add 
to base to your new porch here, uh, you know, with some beams or, or posts or structure to hold this up. And the great thing we like to use are the columns and under the building ribbon. And you can add, say, just a square column here. Select Add to Scene. Um, and basically what that's going to do is just kind of give that look that there's, you know, nice post there and you can get some more detail in there if you'd like. Just kind of line those up with your deck and then you can just raise the elevation a bit so it comes up and you can, you know, create more than one of those again if you'd like. So that's really the gist of it. Um, and of course, you know, this is a little bit off the ground here. So don't forget, you can go back into your customize all deck properties, support frame, and you can, you know, put those back in there for you. Okay, well, until next time, thanks again.